all right guys welcome back to the end of video in this video i'm going to show you how to download high resolution satellite imagery data set from 1970s uh, the resolution of data is a uh, 2 to 5 feet or 20 to 30 feet in order to download this data set you need to watch this video till the end so let's get started all right so before showing you how to download the high resolution imagery i want to discuss about its uh, advantage first so the high resolution satellite imagery from past time is valuable for sense detection assessing glacier volume loss and monitoring land use land cover changes by comparing imagery from 1970s or 1960s to present day imagery Sense detection analysis can reveal uh, alteration in landscape such as urban expansion, deforestation, or natural disaster. Glacier volume loss can be assessed by comparing historic images with the current data provide insight into the rate and extent of glacier melting. Additionally, examining alluvial sea changes over time enables the identification of shift in agriculture pattern, urban growth, and other land use transformation. Despite technology, uh, technological limitation, the past satellite imagery serve as a baseline for understanding these environmental changes and their impact. So, in order to download this product, so you need to go to USGS Earth Explorer site. Just search in Google and then uh, this is the first link or you can directly enter earthexplorer.usgs.gov. Uh, actually, if this is your first time, then it might be a little bit uh, tricky to... Uh, let me clear the coordinates first. So, it, it might be a little bit tricky for you to like see the uh, interface but don't worry i'll uh, walk you through uh, this uh, portal so first of all uh, let uh, let me zoom into the my area of interest so let's say uh, i'm interested in this pohra region one of the beautiful city of nepal then um, i i can select the area by uploading uh, i think kml file or, or drawing the polygon so instead of like entering my coordinate manually i can use this map for my study area so this is my area of interest now we have these four coordinates and then now i can select the uh, data set by clicking on this button the data sets right so after that you need to select the available data set so here are lots of different uh, type of data even land set and uh, srtm astrodem and uh, you can directly download the land cover data set but i'm since i'm interested in the high resolution satellite imagery so uh, i need to select the declassified data so in order to like download the declassified data you you can get these three products d class 1 d class 2 and d class 3 so i'll talk about the data set about this data set in a minute but first of all um, if you want to know more about this data set simply click on this info icon and then it will redirect you to the official metadata or official uh, data set guideline uh, of that particular data set so you can read this section but i uh, i summarize this thing somewhere uh, in my uh, laptop so i'll show you in a minute so after that uh, you can select other additional criteria as well like mission number or camera resolution uh, those kind of things uh, but i'm interested to see any kind of data so i'll go to the result section so make sure you selected declassified to data set so now you will get lots of products now i think uh, there are lots of imagery so here in the data set you can see the entry id which is the uh, unique id and then coordinates uh, and then acquisition date uh, which is the actual date uh, the imagery from 1979 uh, for 212 
and then camera resolution most of the time declassified to data set come with the 20 to 30 feet resolution so you can uh, simply like um, click this footprint uh, and then you can see the image information or uh, if you are interested to like see the other image then you can uh, click on this uh, so footprint button and then you will see the result here so if you want to know about more information about this imagery you can of course definitely click on this metadata tab and then see the uh, available like metadata like the camera resolution and then the product type and also the coordinates uh, representing this image since uh, this image is from like uh, 1979 so uh, th this image is not the geo reference image you need to download it manually and then you can uh, simply geo reference it later so if you want to see it in full mode so simply click on image and then it will redirect and show you the image uh, looks like this image has lots of cloud in the northern part so maybe you can select another image and then try to download the cloud free image um, there is no metadata representing cloud things so you you need to see it manually and if you uh, are satisfied with this image and simply you can download it with the download button and then it will download the product and and the important thing is i highly recommend you to like save this metadata information along with this image if you are going to download this entry simply uh, copy this image copy these things and then uh, simply go to your uh, go to your folder where you want to save and then simply create the test file and then uh, you can write the image information over here copy and paste the image information and also the file name is like copy the file name and then uh, just try to print uh, this file name that means uh, you need to like save the data along with the metadata and then simply download the product by clicking on this button but if you are not interested about like any kind of yellow changes or the glacier volume loss or the uh, like any kind of change detection simply download it and then visualize it in the GIS software so since I already downloaded one product so here is my product so I don't need to like uh, I don't need to like download it again so let me uh, extract the file here so i don't know why but uh, it come with the uh, we need to i mean we need to extract the file uh, two times so first of all it will extract it to tar file and after that we need to extract it to the uh, actual image so it might take some time okay now my uh, image is ready so let me extract it again extract here and then now I got the two images which is uh, A and B so simply uh, if I try to visualize it in QGIS so you will get the high resolution data set like this so it has some cross point it, it, this help you to like geo reference uh, the images or the uh, you need to like merge these two images because these two are the part of one image so since the data is not geo reference that's why uh, it's showing in the uh, it's showing uh, in the uh, all, both images are like overlapped with each other all right so this is the imagery so you can clearly see the river and then uh, the topography of uh, this particular area of course you can uh, see also the glacier so based on these uh, the next step for you to uh, you is like you need to geo reference this image and then uh, after that you can do your change detection things 
So yeah, so that's all about like downloading the high resolution data set. So the resolution of this image is 20 to 30 feet. So yeah, of course you can get the uh, two to five feet imagery as well. So I have documented these things. So in the declassified one data set, uh, we have KH1 to KH6 products. So the year uh, KH1 is available only for 1960s. The resolution for it is 40 feet. Mm, similarly for KS4B product so it's available from 1967 to 1972 the re resolution is 6 feet of course the high resolution data set is KS7 which is uh, start from 1963 to 1967 which is around 2 to 4 feet and uh, this product is named as declassified 2 in the website and for the declassified 3 data set, it's available from 1971 to 1984. The resolution for it is uh, 20 to 30 feet sometime, but sometime it's 2 to 4 feet. And of course, if, you, uh, if the data download link is not available, then you can pay $30 per image to download the imagery. So this is the information that I talked earlier uh, that I'll, I'll summarize all the products. So yeah, in this way you can simply download the uh, high resolution satellite imagery from 1970s or 19, even 1960s. So I hope uh, this video helped you and I'll see you in the next. Thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel.